Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating some apps right here on your Mac. So let's get started. On the top left hand side of your screen, you're going to see the Apple logo. Just click on it. Third option will say your App Store. Some updates, by the way, are in system preferences. However, for most apps, it's going to be under your App Store. So we're going to click right there. Once that loads up, we're going to see everything, which includes Final Cut Pro, which is down here. Plus, we have a bunch of stuff from Microsoft to update as well. Now, we could update one at a time. However, you can update everything at the same time. On the top right hand corner, you're gonna see update all. Now let's say you guys can't find a specific update. Well, don't worry about it. Just go into search. So it's on top left hand side. And let's just look for Final Cut Pro. Just pretending that we don't see it right there. So once we search for it, we should see it popping up here. And again, it should say update on the top right hand corner. Again, we can just update it from here or we can go up to updates. So if we go back up there, which is on the bottom left hand side, we're gonna see all our updates and we can see each one and how big each one is. For example, Final Cut Pro is 3.2 gigs and the Microsoft ones should be almost about the same thing, just underneath a gig for each one. Just about it, yeah. So if we click on OneNote, for example, that's half a gig. We're looking at this, almost a gig. Microsoft Outlook, almost a gig as well. Anyways, to update everything at the same time, we can just press on Update All and we're gonna see that everything gets started. Now, if you want a specific one, obviously just update that one. And how fast will this go? Well, if you're just updating one at a time, it's gonna go a lot faster. If you're updating everything like me, it's gonna go slower, but it does depend on your internet speed. So if you do want this to go faster, just hook up your Mac directly to your router using ethernet cable. It's gonna be a lot faster for most of you compared to your Wi-Fi network. So right now, if you guys see that something just updated, we're gonna see it popping down here. So for example, this one just moved down into updated recently and we're gonna see it as open because it's done the update. Again, we can verify that the update's happening because this right here should be moving. So if we go to the app, this right here should be moving slowly. That means it's downloading the update. And we can see that that's happening for most of them. Right now there's a few that are still thinking, but they're gonna get through at some point. And yes, basically once they're all done, they're just gonna move down to updated recently and we shouldn't see anything up here where updates are available. Now, for example, we're just gonna open up Final Cut Pro, which just finished up. We just moved to updated recently. We're just gonna open that up and we're gonna take a look at it. So now it's opening up because that just bounced away. It's telling me that this is the latest version right now. And right here, it's gonna tell me whatever is new with it. So right here, we can see what's new and we can just continue on and we can get started with Final Cut Pro. It's gonna be the exact same thing with every single app. But anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.